Hello wonderful people and welcome to my custom nether survival. I am the silent boo and I am here with my new uh, survival idea that I'm sharing with you and it is surviving in the nether with severely limited resources. So without further ado let us get into this. Uh, my number one priority is to uh, get some shelter. I'm gonna try and get some shelter first. I, I only have these uh, in my my resources. Oh, hello, Piggy. Um, I only have these things to survive with from the homeland, I guess. And otherwise, I need to stay stay sharp and deal and with myself here, only using what I can find. And what I have already found by miraculous discovery is some from mushrooms. I'm going to grab these quickly. Uh, mushrooms are going to be a good source of food because I can. I make some trees with my saplings and then I can make bowls and then there's plenty of uh, mushrooms kicking about which I can use to make some mushroom stew which heals a nice little bit of a uh, hunger bar. I don't know, do you call it a hunger bar or do you call it a nice bit of hunger? Oh. But these guys, these guys, these guys are going to be a good source of stuff. They drop some meat, some XP and ooh, I'm already finding a nice place to be. Um, and they also drop gold dust, so I could ooh mushrooms. So wow, that's that's a hell of a lot of mushrooms. So we could also make some gold bars. I don't know if you can make gold bars, but if I can, then I will be able to replace some things such as armor, because armor is going to be uh, used sparingly. If I come into a situation where I hit one of the some of the pigmen, I'm going to wear the armor at the beginning. But as I'm running away, I'll take it off so that I don't take too much damage to my armor, because my health can regenerate, my armor cannot. So, I shall have to see how that goes. I'm shamelessly, like, wasting time grabbing all these mushrooms, because uh, food is going to be a difficulty, and if it's in front of you, you take it. Take what you need to survive. Uh, lighting shouldn't be too much of a problem, there's a lot of glowstone around in this fire. So, I don't know if I'll be able to light fire, I don't think I will be, but if I can get a ghast to shoot some fireballs, then yes, ooh, see uh, some of the gravel leaving then as the lava got to it, ooh, this looks good, mushrooms growing outside, I'll leave them for a second, but this is what I really want, some glowstone at like ground level, that's quite, that's quite interesting, ooh, ooh, there seems to be, seems to be something nasty over there, hopefully it's not a ghast, ghast, uh, not very friendly, if you didn't know. <laughs> they shoot fireballs, and I think that's going to be the most uh, dangerous thing surviving out here. Because even though they've got relatively low health, uh, they will destroy blocks, like much like creepers, and they fly. They're like flying creepers with a ranged attack. Not cool. Ooh. What's this? What is this? Is this a cave system? Can I get in here? Ooh. That looks a little too complicated. I want a nice little um, place where I can just go in and go out of, without having to worry about am I going right or left. I thought mushrooms were supposed to not grow very well near light, but they seem to be doing okay in the nether. Uh, I am looking for something nice and pretty. Uh, I'll keep looking and I'll talk about something else. Uh, what I did want to talk about was uh, views on my videos. They soared, and I was like, right, let's do much more uh, regular videos. And now they seem to be slowly going down again. I don't know if it's the Christmas period. And during the Christmas period, people are busy doing other things and not really watching YouTube videos. I totally understand that. And closer to the 25th, I will probably not be making any videos since I won't have time. Um, but I have noticed the views have dwindled. So hopefully it's not a permanent thing, and it could be to do with the new uh, face uh, Facebook. What am I on about? YouTube, the new YouTube. A lot of people lost subscribers, but my subscribers haven't uh, changed. Uh, they've increased actually. They've increased with the new YouTube, so that is a good thing. But uh, I haven't had any um, uh, as many views. I've had it's been like 150 on average, and now I have a video sitting there for two days. It's had seven views. So if you are watching this. Uh, uh, thank you for sticking with us. If you're a regular, thank you for sticking with us. I really appreciate it. It means a lot, and I will keep making these videos for you. If you're a newcomer, please stay a while. Uh, I promise I won't bore you too much. Um, if you like Minecraft, 
I like Minecraft and we have something in common and I make Minecraft videos so you have something to watch uh, hopefully you can leave me a comment or a thumbs up if you think I've done everything perfectly in this video leave me a thumbs up if there's something you'd like to see me do different uh, leave me a comment uh, this has never been done before to my knowledge surviving only in the nether um, if it has I haven't found it I've, I, go I googled it and I also uh, YouTubed it but I didn't see anyone making videos of this so I thought I'd give it a crack um, but yeah, if you guys have seen it before, or if there's something, any suggestions and stuff, that would be cool. So let me know what you want to see. Uh, it's harder than I thought. I thought I just, because like, on the surface world, I don't know, are we in under, under or over? Are we in, is this heaven or hell? I think it's more going to be like hell. So I'm going to say we're under, under the surface, uh, above in the surface world. I'm going to call it surface world. Um... You just find like a mountain or of some kind, and you just ooh, you would just dig into it. And there, hey presto, you have a little survival base. But here, I want to be a little bit more uh, careful with my location. Uh, I'm not interested in staying near the portal. I don't. I'm, this is going to be surviving in the Nether. See how well that works. Oh, I'm gonna have to take a block out here. So. We need to find multiple things. We need to find a shelter, and we also need to find some kind of fortress, because I'm really, really looking forward to trying to take over a fortress, like clear a fortress out and build my stuff and have my own little underworld, like, I don't know, chateau slash demonic fortress. That sounds cool to me. So we're just going to go have a go at that. But it also seem to be quite high up. So I'm going to try and come down a bit. Um, it's a massive lava fall over there. Uh, this seems like a okay way down. Because I am going to be in hardcore mode, as soon as I die, this world is going to be deleted. Please don't fall, please don't fall. Um, so staying high up is a risk of f falling, so let's get a little lower. Ooh. Doing alright here. No, no, we haven't encountered anything dangerous yet, which is cool. Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. Uh, let's be careful with the gas. Oh, there is one. Right. I think we'll be fine. If it sees me, I'm going to try and shoot it with his own stuff. Oh, it's seen me. Uh, let's try to hit it back. There we go. Yeah, I can hit it back with my fist. Don't worry. No worries. Uh, everything's cool. Nothing's behind me. There are no fiery explosions, which is nice for once. <laughs> Living in denial, one of the most satisfying things. Right, this looks nice. Covered so that we won't have many flying gusts, and it's like a. This looks like a nice place to set up. From here we can explore out. Right, so let me. Uh, first order of business: wood. We need to get some wood going. Uh, I did bring some bone meal specifically for this. Oh, I just used a bone meal and it didn't grow. Oh, that's bad. Just move it over a bit. Maybe it didn't have enough space. Maybe I'll bring it down here, see if it works here. Because once I'm out of bone meal, I'm out of... What? What? Right. It's twice now. It's two bits of bone meal I've, I've lost. Right, I'm gonna... I'm gonna save it for a bit. How much space does it need? Hmm. It's definitely got enough light. Maybe down here. There's no excuse for growing. For not growing, even. Whoa. Whoa! That was closer than I thought. That is not nice. Um, here, come on. you got to grow here. Plenty of light. Plenty of space. I'm out the way, I think. Yes! Right, we have a tree. Uh, that is That is good. There's a fail earlier, but this is what we're going to get. So, we're going to have to be very, very careful with the wood in the beginning. I'm going to need a crafting table, and I'm going to need some wooden tools. Um, that is going to be the most important. And I have already got another sapling, but it would be nice just to insurance policy get one or two from here. 
as soon as I'm out of wood, we're in trouble. And I've got to also be careful that it doesn't catch on fire. I want to make an orchard and then like, lose it. But we learned one thing. We learned, we learned that it needs a lot more space than I thought. How big was that? It's a decent, I'd say 10 blocks. Make sure it's 10 blocks from the thing. I'm not sure why it didn't grow here. But uh, we'll just live with it. Four pieces of wood, right. Yeah, I'm going to use all of it. And I'm going to need crafting table and some sticks right let's, let's be tactical about this let's not waste anything let's uh, get a pickaxe and try and get through some of this and let's just dig in the side that's my idea my plan uh, we'll be able to make some doors actually from wood so I'll, I'll keep it to the generic too high here and in here. Right, that seems good. I'll uh, pad this out maybe a little bit. Uh, I'm going to use some of the glowstone dust. Actually, I'm going to use all the glowstone dust to make six blocks of uh, basically just a light source. It's overkill, I know, but hopefully there should be enough light to dig out here. Actually, I don't like things that are only too high. Let's get it three high. Oh, ah, damn it. Should be able to replace that. Oh, I've got plenty. So we're going to try and get a bit, little bit of a farm going on. So, got some seeds and some dirt. I've also got some water, but I read somewhere that if you place water in the nether, nether it evaporates. So I must find a way to put it down without losing it. Otherwise, growing crops is going to take a very long time. But we have got uh, quite a few mushrooms. How many have we got? Oh, we got 40 of one and 20 of the other. I don't think we're going to have to worry about any of that yet. What I am going to do is quickly... I'm running out of uh, pickaxe already. I'm going to make a bowl because I'm going to, I'm going to need uh, food. Put that there. Make four mushroom shoes. The good thing about mushroom stew is you can reuse the, the bowls. So don't have to worry too much about wood. As long, once we've got them, we got them. Uh, I'm also quite keen to find something like a fortress nearby. I don't have to trek for a long time, but then again, I can't choose where they spawn. So, And there goes the pickaxe. Uh, it's a little slower, but it's not that bad. I think that, that should be all right for setting up. Uh, let me move this, because this is flammable, and if I do get attacked, I don't want to lose my little crafting table. Uh, I think I'll put it there. Um, what else will I do? I'll put some dirt here. And I need to till it if I'm going to make some, some uh, bread. Let's get some wooden hoe. And put those down. Right, so we have a little, little cosy, nice and cosy little place going on. I am going to use some netherrack to stop anything from getting in. Because yeah, uh, there's a pigman, as much as I like them, if they go in there, they're going to get in the way. And if I hit them, then they're going to, like, all descend upon me. So just make sure that they don't get to here too close. Right, let's go find some stuff. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Uh, um, am I going to remember the way back? Yes, I'm going to remember it a little bit. I'm going to put some glowstone on. I'm going to borrow an idea I've seen people using to navigate with in the nether. Could use mushrooms. They pop off, so that's be a bit dangerous. Oh. Some of the didn't get hurt. Oh, lord. Oh, that was a bad idea. Okay, they're pretty slow moving projectiles. So. Okay, I just found the mother load of gas. Oh god. Ooh, some soul sound. Maybe I can lose them in there. Oh. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh! Oh, that was a direct hit. Oh, that's 
That was a very bad idea. Alright. Okay, just a bit more offensively. That was a a blow to my uh, armor. I if I can get through here. Hmm, gravel. I didn't remember seeing any gravel in here last time I was in the Nether. It's new to me. Hmm. If only they had feathers, we'd be able to make some arrows. Maybe there is a way to get feathers. I don't, have, I don't know about it yet. I think this is going to be a dead end and a waste of time, but at least it's better than being shot at. And I didn't lose too much. Just one, one hit, direct hit didn't do any damage, so looks like they're not as dangerous as I thought, apart from losing blocks. Can I get this? What does this do? I think it slows you down. Yeah, it slows you down a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Run, 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 run. No, 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 no. There's nothing behind me. Nope. Nope. I refuse to acknowledge. <gasps> Ooh, what is that? In the oh, yes, that looks like a fortress. Not a totally fruitless... Uh... Wow. They are really not happy to see me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Eat fireball. Yes, 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 yes. How you like me now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. I like the way you can shoot back. They look like cannonballs actually coming at you. So it's nice that you can whack them back. Some magical fist bump. How you like me now, brah? Bang. But I don't want to lose my way. Um, I'm a little lost myself. If I, if I don't lie, there is a some kind of fortress, fortressy thingy, majiggy here. Yep. There, cool. Oh, hello, piggy. Uh, I'm gonna push you off. Go away. Oh no, there would be a lovery jump to get there. So we'll we'll uh, we'll, we'll leave that there for a second. Come back and maybe I'll get some nether rack and make a little bridge over. But we found some kind of fortress. That should be awesome. Awesome, awesome. I can see it now, building a little throne in there. Being king of the underworld. Even though there's not actually that much going on here, there's not a hell of a lot of things. Hmm, challenges. I should really get myself some challenges because. Uh, Wandering around the nether aimlessly is a bit pointless, but okay challenge number one Find somewhere to live Challenge number two don't get lost I Think that's the way I Should just follow the trail of craters. I should actually I just follow the fire Should be alright. Ah, yeah, there's one I put there Very useful Yeah, these should be all right. They should be far enough apart so I don't waste them but also close enough together so I can still see them. Seems to be a vein of uh, gravel around there. Hmm. Let us see. Oh, I can see the, what you might call it, over there. The fortress. So maybe if I make a little bridge that way, that would be cool. Right, let's get in here. It was a bit dangerous. Have we had any growth? No, we've had no growth. Right, trees, I should plant some trees, otherwise we're not going to get very far. Uh, let's put one here, I think. I don't see why they didn't grow up there, it's really annoying, I lost two bone meal. If I had had that bone meal, I would have had a bit more uh, of wood to play around with, but never mind, it's a learning curve. Move it a bit further down. This out the way should be fine. Right, that has been a slow, meticulous, dangerous, and actually quite fruitful. We have an area to stay. Got a bit of wood starting to grow. I can see a little fortress down in the uh, little place down there. 
down in the the distance is what I'm looking for. Yeah, got some stuff, but we have severely limited resources, so I'm not gonna stand around like this waiting for trees to grow to carry on. Uh, I think I'll cut the episode short here. If you like this idea, let me know. I'll be doing uh, a few more of these. If it's popular, if it's not popular, I'll just uh, slant into a corner and play by myself, and then I'll show you just the results, like see how, how far I can get. But this should be interesting, I hope. Uh, no one's ever done it before. There might be a reason for that. <laughs> but we'll find out. Uh, I have been Silent Boo. You have been you. Thanks, guys, for watching. And uh, hit that like button if you like this. And uh, leave, drop us a comment if you have a better idea. But I think I'm going to retreat to my little hovel and uh, lock myself away for the night. I think I'll... Can I leave that open? Yeah, I'll leave that open. Actually, not even night time. It's bloody bright in here. So, yeah. Over and out.